Today I'm switching gears a bit to review a little device sent to me by the guys at ThinkGeek.com, and that device is the Retro Mini. Now if you love the portability of the DS and the Game Boy, then you're going to love this, because the Retro Mini is a portable NES. Just take any old Nintendo game, plug it in the top, and power it on. It's that simple. Now you can play Nintendo games in the palm of your hand anywhere you like. There are also some other great features on this item as well. Of course you get the standard directional pad, A, B, select, and start buttons, but you also get a reset button, volume control, and if the small screen is too small for you, this unit even has an AV output, so you can plug it into your TV set. Just awesome. Now I will say that the only thing I don't like is where they decided to place the reset button. Now I did have a problem with it at first, since I kept mistaking it for the select button. Now the Retro Mini supports Nintendo games, Tenkin games, unlicensed games, and even games sent from heaven. Nice. Now the only game I couldn't get to work was Castlevania 3, but I'm not sure if it was the game that wouldn't play, or if it was just my copy. Now there are some drawbacks to this unit. They are minor, but they're still drawbacks. The first one being is that you can't play the light gun games, like Duck Hunt and Hogan's Alley. And you also gotta make sure that the pin connectors on the NES games are super clean, because the Retro Mini is really sensitive to this. And I haven't tried it yet, but I wonder if it works with Rob the Robot. I guess that answers that. But seriously though, I'm sure if you hooked it up to a TV set, Rob should work just fine. Other than that, the Retro Mini is pretty awesome, and the main reason being that it's portable. Now if we can only get one for the Atari, that would be freaking awesome. Well again I want to thank the guys at ThinkGeek.com for the Retro Mini, and be sure to visit their website if you're looking to purchase one.